Hey, what's going on everybody? Ryan Johnson from Intermittent Fasting with Ryan. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking with Dave Stacy, who runs Dad Bod Fitness TV on YouTube. So I'm very excited uh, to be joined today by, uh, again, Dave Stacy from Dad Bod Fitness, but thank you very much for having on. Very excited to, uh, to be talking with you today. I'm, I am stoked, man. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> well, good stuff. Hey, man, I, uh, I really enjoy the, uh, the YouTube channel. I, I like a lot of your content. You know, fitness is a big part of what I have been doing, and it's a big part of just overall health and wellness. But um, if you would, talk to me a little bit about um, how, you, how you got started, you know, where, uh, where this whole thing started. Oh, my goodness. I could go way back and for fear of not being succinct, I will try not to. Um, long story short, I, for years I've worked out, I've exercised is what I like to say in a really, never really just, you know, it's more just good habits. I do a little running here and there. When I was like 12, 13, 14, we had a small bench. I would do some weights and my mom's a, uh, she's a registered dietitian, diabetes educator. So she was always good with helping me understand, you know, vegetables and fruits and micronutrients and things like that. Very basic. All that just a little sprinkled here and there. Um, through college, I did the same thing, you know, mediocre working out. I did P90X, which I know we've, we probably have a common yeah. there. I used to absolutely loathe Tony Horton and, and now I really do enjoy him. <laughs> Although I don't really use his workouts anymore, but it was, it was great stuff. You know, I got some very uh, low level, you know, gains at that point. And nothing was very serious again. It was exercising. It was to burn calories. And it came to a point where my wife actually, she's a, a consultant for a health and wellness business. And they have uh, this 30-day uh, um, challenge, basically, where you have to cut out a whole bunch of different stuff. And in order for her to be able to, be able to speak to it, she's like, you know, Dave, would you, would you do this with me? Would you, you know, run this challenge? And I was like, absolutely not like there's, you're cutting out coffee you're cutting out you know all sugar gluten dairy it, it felt like all the good stuff but finally i was like all right i love you i will do this so we ended up doing it utterly life-changing it's really what inspired this whole channel because at that point we did have two kids we had um my son who was around i don't even know two or three and my daughter was somewhere between zero and one somewhere around there. And so life, life is chaotic. I mean, the, the changes were just astronomical in the few years that we've now have kids. We're, we're now at three, which is, that's a whole nother, that's like an explosion of chaos, but. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're doing it too. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm nuts, but everyone says after three, it's like nothing changes if you go higher than that. So we'll see. But anyways, so with all that chaos going through this, it was really very simple and it changed my whole world. Like I lost weight for the first time intentionally. Well, I shouldn't say intentionally. I lost weight without counting calories. I just uh, ate well. It was really focused on whole food eating. And, um, and, uh, so through that, like all of a sudden I had abs and I was like, Oh, it's like those are there. Like I always could see like slight definition. I was never really overweight, but over the past at that point, it was, you know, three or four years that my wife and I had been married. I gained, you know, somewhere between 10 to 20 pounds, somewhere in there. It was so small over time. I just didn't even notice it. Um, but then once I lost, I lost 10 pounds in about four weeks and it was like eye opening. I was like, oh my gosh, like nutrition does a lot. So that just really put a fire under my butt for when I was a kid, I used to like idolize bodybuilders because I am not very tall in stature. So I wished that I could have been a little broader in size. So I always thought that was a cool idea, but I thought, you know, you got to work out two, three hours a day, six days a week. So it was just completely unattainable. And that's really what I want to bring to people now, in particular dads and moms to say, Hey, like you can do this in very little time, like less than, you know, th you know, three to five hours a week. I, I frankly, I work out three times a week. And I, I was just looking at pictures. We were all as a family looking at old pictures, pictures from when my son was one. And I'm going like, I used to look like that. <laughs> and like, even now, like with the time that I've taken progress photos, it's hard to see changes are slow. But when you look back, I'm just like, holy cow. So that's kind of what brought me to where I am now. Well, no, that's awesome. It, 
there's a lot to uh, a lot to unpack there and a lot of good nuggets of wisdom, some of which like um, progress photos. You know, I'm a big advocate of progress photos because we all want the number on the scale to go down. But right. the reality is the two things that most people I mean, I, most people, myself included, are after is I want to look better right. and I want to feel better. But none of those while the number on the scale is correlated to that. If you can take progress photos, if you're seeing progress, but the scale doesn't necessarily move, you know, that, yeah. I think that's a, that's a great indicator. So uh, yeah. that's good. Absolutely. So that's really exciting uh, to hear about. And the 30 day challenge, what was the actual challenge? It's, I mean, it's called the Arbonne 30 day, uh, 30 days to healthy living. So basically for 30 days and the whole idea, you know, there's, there's a lots of these different things out there. Um, I heard of them before and I thought they were insane, but it's, yeah, basically cut out any kind of potential allergens, any inflammatory foods. Um, the idea is you obviously have, a, you know, your liver and your kidneys, which detoxify your body. And the idea here is, you know, they're kind of like a drain in a sense, like your bathtub drain, but every once in a while your drain can get clogged or it's not draining as well. Let's give your body a boost. Let's give those detoxifying uh, organs a boost just by focusing on whole food eating. So the idea is not to lose weight. The idea is just to make your body healthier. The side effect obviously is that people just tend, tend to eat less because you're eating majority whole foods. You tend to be more in tune with like what your appetite is doing. You're more satiated from your meals and you're trying to stop eating at a certain point, which I mean, ties in so closely with like intermittent fasting. It's not intermittent fasting, but they want you to do basically time restricted eating. Yep. You're trying to stop by seven. I think they want you to start at seven. So it's probably like a 12, 12. So all of those things, a combination by cutting out sugar, cutting out caffeine, gluten, dairy, um, you cut out like peanut butter, anything that's a potential allergen, you know, things that are causing gut issues for people. Um, you cut those out and then you slowly reintroduce them back in to see what's going to affect you. What's going to not affect you. And the whole side effect is, People usually get like massive boosts of energy. That was the one thing. I drank a ton of coffee by that point. I didn't get any more sleep. In some points, I got less sleep, but I cut out all coffee and I actually felt good. <laughs> yeah, hey, that, that, that midday slump, that's something that I know. You know, I, I don't recommend you restrict any kinds of foods just from a mental, a mental side of it. Like, you know, if you say yeah. something, off limits that really messes with your psyche if you ever end up having it but i do know for myself i don't like to eat carbs when i break my fast early on because i'm gonna want to nap <laughs> an hour or two after that yeah so definitely yeah yeah, yeah. but I'd, I'd be interested to try uh i'd be interested to try some sort of uh elimination diet because that's something that even over this last year i haven't really changed my diet too much and I don't want I don't want people to think that I'm going to eat pizza and fried chicken forever. But kind of the approach that I'm taking is kind of a two to three year to get to an ideal like place so that I can be there for the rest of my life. I think that's the next thing that I may look to do is um, some sort of elimination kind of diet to find what's going to work best for me because um, I do want to be eating healthier foods, and I think that's kind of going to be kind of the next step is really not just the intermittent fasting is down now, but making sure that I'm eating whole foods during my feeding window. That's probably the next thing that I need to tackle. So I'd be interested in, in, uh, in taking a look at uh, some sort of uh, a quick start to that. But now that's super exciting. Um, and as far as like the bodybuilding, everything, that's kind of where I, where I got started with fitness as well was in college, you know, seeing, you know, the muscle mags and doing all those bodybuilding style workouts, but no, Hey, I really appreciate you coming on to talk today. And um, for anybody else that's, that's interested in finding out more, I'm going to leave everything in the description below. And if you're interested in getting started on your own intermittent fasting journey, I'm going to leave some videos on the screen. Now I encourage you to check those out. And remember, we're not looking to lose weight fast. We're looking to lose weight forever. Thanks again. And I'll catch you in the next video.